Hi, I'm Gerald Walker. I'm one of the physics professors here at Cleveland State University. And today, the Flying Circus of Physics is at Viking Marketplace to show you a little bit of breakfast physics, stuff that you can see in your own kitchen. Cheerios, one of my favorite cereals, they will float. But what you can't see easily on camera is that the milk curls up on the side of the Cheerios, climbs, because the molecules in the milk, that's really water, they're really attracted to the sides of the Cheerios. The Cheerios find each other in this sea of milk. Isn't that just precious? That's so cute. And you love me. Say it. Yes. They find each other and come together. When you have two Cheerios near each other, the curvature will force the two Cheerios to come together in order to flatten out the intermediate milk or water surface. You get something very similar with tacks, though they're hard to float these tacks. I'm gonna try and do it. I have to hover right above the milk. Oh, it floated. They too will find each other and come together, but the milk does not curve up upward on the sides of the tack. It curves downward due to the weight. When two tacks are near each other, the curvature will cause the two tacks to come together to try to flatten out the intermediate milk water surface. And now I was wondering, what would happen if I put in both tacks and Cheerios? Oh, the tack is repelled by the Cheerios. The tacks will attract each other, and the Cheerios will attract each other. And it has to do with the surface tension, the attraction of water molecules to one another. But the tacks will be repelled by the Cheerios. And that has to do with the fact that the milk or water curves up along the sides of the Cheerios, whereas it curves downward alongside the tacks. And there's no advantage for the tack to get close to, to be cute with a Cheerio. Whoop. However, I must warn you, you don't want this for your cereal and breakfast. Because eating Cheerios with tacks, boy, that would really wake you up. Well, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again here at Flying Circus Physics next time. Just remember, physics is everywhere, even in a bowl of cereal at breakfast.